Let's discuss the Terraform depend on meta tag today. Let's first discuss like why do you need a Terraform depend on meta tag inside your Terraform project. So when you use Terraform, then with the help of Terraform, you can create multiple resources inside your cloud platform. So if you are using AWS, then you can create S3 bucket, EC2 instances, you can create Kubernetes cluster. And similarly, if you are using Terraform for GCP, then you can create a compute instances, you can create a cloud storage and many more things. But Terraform depend on tag is really important when you want to define a dependency between these resources. Let's take a one concrete example and how we are going to use the Terraform depend on meta tag. So here onto the screen, you can see this is the code which I'll use to create a S3 bucket onto my AWS environment. And similarly, I have this next code which is available for me to create an EC2 instance on the same AWS environment. So with this Terraform code, I can create two resources. One is S3 bucket and second is EC2 instance. All right, let's rearrange the code and try to define the dependency between these two resources. So for example, I have taken an S3 bucket and EC2 instance. So what I need to do is I need to create a dependency on an S3 bucket. So first of all, I want to tell Terraform that first create an S3 bucket and once after creation of S3 bucket successfully, then try to go and create an EC2 instance. So I don't want EC2 instance to be created before S3 bucket. So here, what I will do, I will just write my Terraform code. And first of all, I'll just create an S3 resource. And after creating an S3 resource, then I'm just going to write the resource block for my EC2 instance. And inside that EC2 instance, I'm just going to use the depends on meta tag. So here onto the screen, you can see I have used the depends on meta tag. And inside that depends depends on meta tag, I can provide a reference to the S3 bucket. And as soon as you provide the reference to the S3 bucket, then Terraform knows that we need to create this EC2 instance, but we need to create this EC2 instance after I create a S3 bucket. So here we are just trying to define a sequence. So first Terraform will read this code. It will first create an S3 bucket. And after successful creation of an S3 bucket, then it is going to create an EC2 instance. So that's how Terraform will know that which resource it needs to create first and which resource it needs to create last. Let's switch over to the desktop and see the demo. All right, so this is my desktop and we'll start from the top. So here on the top, you will see I have created a provider section where I have specified like on which cloud platform I will be working. So I'll be working on AWS. Second, I have specified the region where I'll be deploying my resources. So that is EU Central. Second, I have specified the credential file. So where I have stored my secret project secrets. Uh, so in case if you don't want to use the credential file, then you can just replace uh, the secrets over here. But just hard code the secret only for your learning purposes. Don't do this in production. All right, moving further. So this is the first resource which I will be creating. So that is going to be my AWS S3 bucket resource. So here I have just used the S3 bucket resource. This is the name of my resource. And remember, we need to uh, use this name later on into my depend on block. Uh, depend on meta tag. So here, this is my uh, name of my S3 bucket resource. And uh, this is the uh, bucket which I'll be creating the name I will be giving to my bucket. And remember, don't confuse with this name and this name. This is the name of the resource, uh, which I'll be referencing inside Terraform. But this is the name which will be create assigned to the bucket once it is created. So that's the difference. I just wanted to make it clear. And here I have created a few tags. Moving further, so the second resource which I'm just going to create is the EC2 instance. So here I have just defined the resource type that is AWS instance. The name of the resource inside Terraform is going to be EC2 example. This is the machine ID which I'll be using. Uh, the instance type is going to be t2.micro and the tag name which I'll be creating is Terraform EC2. Okay, now that's the necessity uh, uh, necessary code which you need to define for creating an EC2 instance. Now comes the depends on meta tag. So here I'm just trying to define the dependency over a S3 bucket and how to define that particular dependency. So first of all, you need to define or you need to put the correct resource type. So that is AWS S3 bucket. So this is resource type, you will find it over here. 
So that's the dependency you're just going to define on that particular resource. But then you need to define or you need to reference to the exact name of the resource. So name of the resource is my test bucket. And here I have just specified my test bucket reference. So that's how you just create a dependency on an S3 bucket. So you just always be careful like what kind of a dependency you're trying to define over here. So here I'm just trying to define with the resource type and the resource name. So that can be any resource inside your Terraform project. One more thing over here, this is an array. So here you can create a one uh, more resource or here you can define the one more resource dependency also. So this is just an example purpose I'm showing you, showing it to you. But in case you might be wondering that I have so many resources and I have so many dependency I need to create. So this depend upon tag does not restrict you with the one resource. You, you can assign multiple resource name over here and that will be the dependency which Terraform will create. All right, let's open the terminal and run the Terraform command. So here I'm just going to open the terminal. This is my terminal. The first command which I'm just going to run is Terraform init. I'll clear the screen after successful execution. The next command which I'm just going to run is the Terraform plan command. And here you can see it is planning to add two resources, which is fine because we are just creating an S3 bucket as well as an EC2 instance. All right, so I'll just reopen the terminal once again. I'll just drag it over here. I'll just clear the screen. And the next command which I'm just gonna run is Terraform apply, hit enter, and type yes. And let's see what's the error says. So bucket test uh, one for import is not available. So I think I have taken this name before, so I just need to rename it. So let's put uh, a name over here is the two. Go to your terminal clear the screen and rerun the command type yes and here you can see test bucket 2 for import i think test bucket 1 i have already taken so that's why it is what it was not allowing me to use it all right so now my terraform apply command has just finished and here you can see that two resources has been added and if you check the uh, sequence of resource creation over here then first of all it has created an s3 bucket and after that it has created an ec2 uh, EC2 instance over here. So these two lines which will indicate that first S3 bucket has been created and after that we are, we are able to create the EC2 instance. So that's how it creates a dependency uh, inside your Terraform project using this Terraform depend on meta tag. Well, this was a very small example, but important thing over here is to understand the depend on meta tag. So this is how you're just going to create a dependency and use this dependency inside your Terraform project. But always try to remember, don't put a cyclic dependency. So what does it mean? So if you're trying to create an S3 bucket and then after that, you're just trying to create an S, uh, EC2 instance, then don't do the reverse order in the same way. Otherwise, it will create a lot of cyclic dependency inside, uh, inside your Terraform project. So always keep the things linear in and sequential. So always go from top to bottom where you create first resource and then you create a second resource. But don't uh, create a cyclic dependency where first resource is dependent on the second resource. Then it will screw a lot of things inside your Terraform project. I hope today's session will help you to understand that Terraform depends on meta tag. And I'll share the link of this uh, repository inside the description section. So feel free to clone that repository. And if you have any question, then please put down into the comment section and I'll try to answer those. Uh, so see you into the next session of a Terraform or DevOps. Till then, take care and bye-bye.